What's going on y'all? This is Rashad from RashadBeast.com and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to talk about the importance of networking. I want to talk about how personally it has affected me and how it was one of the biggest things that I realized, especially last year of 2016, of how it was a big piece of my business and all the different things I had going on for myself. It was a big piece that I was missing to really take everything else to the next level. So let's talk about that. I know I covered networking in previous videos, but I do want to get a little bit more personal with this one because I want everybody to kind of learn from just a little bit of mistakes that I was making when I was starting out selling my beats online and starting out doing other different business aspects and you know different things, writing books, etc, etc. And how my lack of, I would say my lack of networking was really like showing it was it was really showing that I didn't really have that many opportunities to really place such projects for beats and, and books and clothing etc like I said I covered this in my previous videos but I do want to elaborate more I personally feel that networking is a priority now like in business as it always has been but from my personal experience I kind of didn't really realize it like that but Networking is pretty much the, the only thing you will want to worry about when you have business because you want to build up a list of connections that you can call upon and you can use to your advantage for your business and for your different opportunities. Because you got to think about it like the more that you mingle with different people, the more that they'll put you on a different, different type of things that they have going on. For an example, if I was looking for like a DJ to start shopping records to, and I have a DJ, and I talk to him or whatever, and, you know, he tells me he's a DJ, whatever, we start building a relationship. Um, I might pay him, you know, just to listen to some records and see if he can shop them out and whatever. And, you know, as time goes on, and he starts to like with my, um, my records, and he starts to like, you know, just the vibe that I bring as we talk and whatever, and just different things, he starts to, start to realize that we have a real relationship going on. Then eventually, he'll start putting me on with different artists start putting me on with different producers just he'll start to introduce me to his network one of the biggest things with networking is that you want your own network for for an example like you want to see on your Facebook feed like people that you already communicated with people that you already know that you already dealt with whether they bought something from you or not whether they're supporters whether they just like watching your stuff they like listening to your music they like listening to your beats if you're a producer um, you want to build your own network where you have people that know you for who you are and for everything that you do and that's all you see in your feed is just people that you already established relationships with whether it be indirect or direct relationships. Networking was a big piece that I was missing last year because you know what I'm gonna take it further than that I think 2015 was when, when I was really missing it. 2015 I really started to just uh, you know, really focus on selling beats and just sell, 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 sell. I don't really care too much about the relationships, even though I'm starting to understand the importance of them. But it was more so of a spiritual awakening the year after in 2016 um, that I realized networking was a big thing because I was just that kid in the basement cooking up beats and doing all types of shit in the basement, coming up with designs for the clothing line, uh, for my clothing line or whatever before I even established it and you know I had other people that I associated myself with that were making big moves outside of the online world they was really going to like different places like I had my bro who was a producer and he he won like I standard and he was going to California whatever etc like and I'm just sitting here like damn I'm in my basement you know what I'm saying I'm making money I'm selling beats and I'm engineering blah 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 but I'm not having the right, the, the proper networking, the proper connections for me to really take everything else to it. So pretty much what I'm saying is networking is like really daily important. If, if obviously it is, but I think I want people to just learn from my mistake that I made as a producer starting out, just looking to sell beats online and not take shit offline. And, you feel me? I want people to learn that because when when I kind of like came out of this rut for selling beats, just me like not really giving a fuck about selling, selling beats, um, that's when my money for beats started to go down or whatever. And I had to look for different routes to, to bring in some more income and et cetera. 
if I network the way I network now, because now I have a variety of connections that I can come to for different things, and I'm still building, I'm still getting more people to get on board with what I got going on, and et cetera, then I could have easily put myself on a bigger platform, you know, 2016, 2015. Not saying I was going to blow up, but I could have easily made certain things that I had going on for myself easier just because I had somebody that can do it on the outsource, you know what I'm saying? Whether I was paying them or not, it didn't matter because I'm all about investing. Networking is really important, you know, especially if you're a producer and an artist, please network your ass off, man. Take Just take it offline for a little bit. Don't worry about your online presence. Build your online presence. Like, I have a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I'm really, I'm really proud about that. And now that I have a schedule for videos, I'm gonna be bringing new content every single week. So now that I have that, I know for a fact if I keep this going, I'll bring 5,000 before this year ends. So I know that building the online presence is important. But what you gotta also understand is too that people are not always online. People that are making moves offline are more likely bringing in more opportunities because they're working with real people. They're not talking between the screen and you know trying to figure out if he's a scammer, if he's trying to get me for my money, if he's trying to like you know finesse me out of bread for like certain opportunities. No, you're talking to people who have direct connections and they're real people, so they're gonna get you to where you need to go depending on what you're trying to do. The moral of the story, man, focus on building your, your just just please build your network. Your network is your, your network. Like I know I, I covered this in the video before, but I, and, and forgive me if this video is kind of all over the place because it, I'm taking different concepts of networking and putting it all together. But understand that I really want to exercise this to the utmost level this year. Really network with different people. Really make different things happen because that's the only way you're going to do it. And so pretty much what I'm trying to tell all my subscribers, man, who got a business, whether you're an artist, musician, you're an author, um, whatever you do, please build your connections. And, I, and if you already know that, then you understand. But... I can't stress this enough because, you know, now that I realize, like, damn, I could have easily gotten into a connect with that and, you know what I'm saying, I'm starting to realize a lot of different things. So, I want people to kind of learn from my mistakes and start now if you haven't started already and continue to keep going and continue to keep making networks and continue to make big connections and continue to have certain networks that you can look on and you know, like, okay, I know him, I know him, I know him, and I know exactly what they all do. And if you need them, you can call on them anytime, whether they offer services to be paid or not. And um, you can outsource certain shit. So that's all I'm saying is, man, please network your ass off. Please. It's very important that you network. Please, like, just network. Like, do your thing. Go to those seminars. Go to those beat contests. Go to those open mics. Go to those concerts. Network, man, because you never know what you're going to run into. And... You know, I'm really starting to understand that this year, and now that I have a better understanding of it from last year, I'm going to put that into the, to the best use possible, and I'm going to make different shit happen. And that's pretty much it, man. So, if you have any questions, concerns, please email me. Please uh, leave a comment. If you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Rashad Beats Out. Peace, love, and yeah. Bye. <laughs>